Hi, thank you for joining me today. I have been so hungry for a little soft banana cookie that my mom used to make, and I have a couple really overripe bananas that I'd like to use. So I found the recipe, and I'm gonna go ahead and make those today and show you how I do it. So I've already mashed up the two bananas here. It says either a cup or two bananas. And so I just, I didn't measure it. I just did the two bananas because that's what I had and I wanted to use them up. But first of all, into the mixer, get you a little bit closer. I want to put a half a cup of butter, which would be one stick. And I've let this sit out and get soft, so it's good to go. And a half of a cup of brown sugar. I packed it in there. And a half of a cup of white sugar. And I'm going to let these mix together and cream until they get light and fluffy. I won't leave the mixer on the whole time, but we'll go ahead and get it started. I've let the brown sugar, white sugar, and butter mix until it's light and fluffy. And to that, I'm going to add one egg. A teaspoon of vanilla. And the bananas. Okay, now I'm going to let that mix. Okay, that has mixed really well. So now I'm going to put a teaspoon of baking soda in here. One teaspoon. and a half of a teaspoon of salt. And I have two cups of flour measured in here, so I'm just gonna put a little bit in at a time and let it mix. switched to my beater bar, so now I'm going to add the rest of the flour. I'm also going to add about a half of a cup of miniature chocolate chips. It's a little over a half a cup, but who's Who's counting when it's chocolate? Okay, that has mixed really well. And the chocolate chips, of course, are in it. So let's get all this goodness here. We don't want to waste any of it. It's not a big batch of cookies but enough that I used up those bananas instead of letting them go to waste. There it is. All right, I have a greased, I sprayed this cookie sheet. You can do that or use parchment paper, whichever you want, but I greased it and I am going to use my cookie scoop and I'm gonna put these onto the tray about two inches apart. I 
smells so good. Bananas were, the bananas were nice and ripe, so you really smell the banana. Okay, I have 12 of them on the sheet. I'm gonna put these in a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes. I'll keep an eye on it, let you know for sure how many minutes that it takes. Okay, I just pulled these out of the oven and they're still soft, but they're just slightly brown around the edges. So I'm gonna let them sit here on the cookie sheet for just a minute, and then I'll put them on this wire rack to cool and we'll make some cream cheese frosting to go on them. While the cookies are cooling, I'm gonna go ahead and make cream cheese icing to put on them. I have a cup and a half of powdered sugar in here. To that, I'm gonna add three ounces of softened cream cheese. So three ounces. Three ounces of cream cheese. I want a tablespoon of soft butter, so I'm just gonna take it from my butter dish and just guesstimate a tablespoon. It's nice and soft. And I want a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. And this is a Tupperware teaspoon and a half. Okay, then we'll just mix this up and that's really all there is to it. Turn it up slowly so I don't have powdered sugar everywhere. There it goes. It's making a nice creamy icing to go on them. Okay. Nice and creamy. So I've got my cream cheese icing here and this first batch that I pulled out are ready. They're cool enough. So I'm just putting a little bit on top. They don't need a lot, but it just just a little bit. Have one more batch in the oven. It made three dozen. So I will freeze some of these. Guess I better try one, huh? Hmm. That is good. Tastes like banana bread with the cream cheese icing on it. That is delicious. Thank you for watching.